Welcome to Appliance Tech Tutorials. Um, this is a Hisense fridge freezer. So the, the fridge is at the top. What model is this? Uh, that thing is fun. That is the model number of this fridge and um, we are told that this fridge works with uh, the refrigerant where is the refrigerant here is the refrigerant it works with r600a compressor um, and it must be charged with r600 there is the model number for for this fridge so the reason for this video is to answer some few questions that I get concerning the other high sense fridge freezer that I fixed. Um, I fixed this fridge, but I had to come back to clarify some things that um, a lot of people are, are asking me. So this fridge here at the back, I don't know where you can see that. There is there was frost and now it's melting. So as the temperature drops, it's gonna start again. Um, so here at the back of it, there is an evaporator which is joined to the freezer evaporator, which is joined to this evaporator, the freezer ev evaporator. So when this fridge leaks on the cooling system, it will either leak here or it will leak to the top. There is no way this fridge um, um, cooling system, um, what is it that I want to say? Yeah, it will only leak here and on the top when we are talking about the cooling system or the evaporators so how you test it now let's go to the back so we we, we can we, we can see how we will test it i fixed this fridge up how long has this fridge been running i think it's the because this fridge was fixed before COVID, so it's more than three years now. It's been running for more than three years without giving problems. So this is what happened then. I had to replace the compressor for this fridge with the second-hand compressor. I trust this brand. It's a good brand. Like Embraco compressors, that's a good brand. So even though it was a second hand, but I trusted it and it's still running. It's been three years now. So I was here to tell you how to pressure test the evaporator. So what you must do is, what I do is I take this, I cut it, and then I brace there to close it properly. And I will either take this pipe, which goes to the cooling system, cut it and fit the service valve like this one. Or I will just cut the condenser here and brace there and close. So by doing that, I know that I am only using the cooling system because this pipe goes to the evaporator at the fridge it comes down to the freezer then it comes back to us as the capillary tube because the capillary tube goes to the freezer not to the fridge because we want cooling to start to the freezer so if i if i vacuum here i will be only vacuuming the cooling system the evaporator of the freezer and the evaporator of the fridge so if i if this fridge manages to stay at minus 30 for 15 minutes without moving on my gauge, then I know that this system is not leaking. 
there is no need for me to put guess but if i want to i can also put guess uh, maybe 100 psi and wait for 15 minutes and see if the gas is dropping should that happen then i know that my fridge is leaking then i will have to replace the system of the fridge only with the cold plate because the system of the freezer as you have seen it it can be repaired when it's leaking the only system that we cannot repair is the one on the fridge because it's enclosed at the body it's here at the back now if we pressure test the the cooling system and we see that the cooling system is right we will then come to the evaporator the heating system so this is how this fridge worked um, now the fridge is running because the temperature has dropped um, okay you see this pipe here this pipe and this pipe either this one was coming to the compressor so if this one was coming to the compressor then this one was for the pencil dryer so the condenser um, goes to the side to the sides of this fridge so i i i checked it and i saw that it's leaking how i fitted the service valve this pipe was not short like that when i was testing it right so i fitted my service valve here when i saw that this thing is leaking then i just decided to use another condense so a service valve here then we close on this side if we vacuum for 15 minutes then we're going back to zero then we know that the condenser is leaking if we put gas then after 15 minutes the gas is dropping it doesn't matter even if it drops a little then we know it's leaking we won't use it so that's how i tested the condenser and for this one i didn't buy a new condenser i just took a condenser for a fridge that i was scraping and i fitted that condenser here as you can see this condenser is joined to this compressor it goes comes back to the to the filter then to our capillary tube so that's how you solve the problem of a leaking condenser to a high sense or any fridge that has the condenser that is enclosed in the body and uh, you've tested it and we have seen that it's leaking the cold plate method um i will have a video for it i think i do have a video for it i i also forget these videos that i put i think this video must have helped or must have answered the questions that were were asked a lot on the other hisense um fridge freezer repair video